Well, 2021 has been an interesting year, probably not as strange and destructive as 2020, but still, with that being said, 2021 had its fair share of um, WTF moments. So without further ado, it is now time for us to choose our WTF moment of 2021. Here's how it works. I make four nominations and then I put it up to a vote and let Humanist Report viewers across multiple platforms decide ultimately what the biggest WTF moment of the year was. So here are my nominations. First and foremost, January 6th. It's something that happened at the beginning of the year, but still till this day, it proves to be really significant. It proves how fragile democracy is. And this really, it gave us a warning sign that if we don't take steps to protect democracy and combat lies spread by Donald Trump, then this democracy isn't long for this world. And the big lie that catalyzed that insurrection has influenced GOP-controlled states across the country to do voter suppression laws, gerrymander their way to victory once again with newly redrawn districts that disenfranchise a lot of people, mostly minority groups, depending on the state. It's a slow-moving coup, but it's not over. Like The threat hasn't vanished, and I still think it's important to focus on this since Democrats still have a limited amount of time to act. Once they lose power, then I think that the opportunity has been missed. So January 6th proves to be an important thing, and I think that individuals who downplayed the significance of this really should reevaluate what this means for democracy and how something like this should never occur in a stable democracy that's functioning. Democracy is in danger. This showed us that that is indeed the case, and I think we should take it seriously. My second nomination is Nina Turner's loss. Let me be clear. I never assumed for a moment that this was a guaranteed victory. I knew it was going to be an uphill battle, but I mean, I had good reason to think that Nina Turner would indeed win. One poll from like May showed that she had a 35 point lead, but still it didn't go that way. And even on the day of the election, I kind of had this sick feeling in my gut that she was going to lose. Still seeing it, it really just, it sent me into a depression that lasted a couple of days uh, because you know when when you see a leader on the cusp of getting into a position of power where she could really make a lot of big moves and that just kind of falls apart after 2020 you know it's uh it's devastating it's sad my next nomination is the abortion ban that was codified into law in texas that the supreme court allowed to go into effect I mean, in 2021, we're essentially going back to coat hanger abortions in dark alleys, and that's truly horrifying. You'd think that as society progresses and we become more egalitarian, things like this are no longer arguable. But now we're looking at the prospect of abortion in the United States being illegal again and unsafe, which is going to kill women. So the fact that abortion was effectively banned in Texas what the fuck? How could I not nominate that? Now, my final nomination, I had to choose the QAnon JFK Jr. Gathering. I think that this is really worrying because if this many people are that detached from reality, we've got a lot of issues in this country. So QAnon subscribers showed up to an event in Dallas, Texas, where they anticipated the return of JFK Jr., who's been gone for decades, but they thought that he would show himself, announce to the world that he hasn't been dead all this time. And not only that, he's running a joint presidential run with Donald Trump in 2024, and he's going to be the running mate. I like this story makes me lose IQ points. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's certainly worthy of a nomination. So it, yeah, it, it's, it's one of my nominations. Now, having said that though, it was hard to narrow it down because again, this year was unique we'll say but here's some honorable mentions the COVID-19 delta surge which kind of felt like we went back to square one with a pandemic Trump's call with Brad Raffensperger the secretary of state of Georgia where he pressured him to find votes so he can steal the election 
India Walton's loss. I mean, after winning a primary, her sore loser Democratic Party opponent, he waged a write-in campaign and he won by recruiting Republican Party donors and big money interests to help him. Michael Flynn outright endorsing a Myanmar-style military coup in the United States. This is a former White House official endorsing a military coup. That is insane. Dennis Prager intentionally getting COVID-19 so he can get natural immunity. I don't even know what to say other than what the fuck. And also the voter suppression laws that have been passed around the country. Now, uh, let's get to the results. So when it comes to Twitter with 746 votes, the January 6th insurrection, hands down, is the biggest WTF moment with 66.4%. On Patreon, with a total of 40 votes, we have the January 6th insurrection winning hands down with 30 total votes. Now on YouTube, which is where we got the most amount of votes with 10,000 plus in total, the January 6th insurrection with 74% was the YouTube audience's biggest WTF moment. So overall, across three different platforms, my audience overwhelmingly agreed that the January 6th insurrection was by far the most WTF moment of 2021, with the QAnon gathering coming in a distant second place. Now let's get to some comments. Bill on Twitter writes, even though it was so long ago at this point, the insurrection will be forever etched in my mind. No way I can vote any other way. Yeah, I get it. Mike Murdoch on Patreon writes, no contest. It's the January 6th Capitol insurrection. It showed that how close we were having our own night of broken glass and the fear that it will happen again, even if we even let our guard down for only a second. Sadly, most Democrats are not taking this seriously and I fear it may happen again, but it will be worse than January 6th. And I fear this too. Aaron Held on YouTube writes, abortion ban was worse lasting consequences, but the whole reaction and amnesia from the right pertaining to the Capitol insurrection is insane. Nobel Aang on YouTube says the JFK Jr. one is absurd in a hilarious way. Everything else is just actual shook WTF. Redacted on YouTube says January 6th changed my life and the way I look at politics forever. Matt Ryan on YouTube says Nina Turner's loss really hurt. She would have been amazing at the job. The DNC machine was never going to let her get that seat. They would rather a Republican get the seat than her. So there you have it. You know, it's odd to think that the biggest WTF moment of 2021 would be something that happened just days into the year, but it just goes to show you how significant January 6th was. So yeah, I agree. I think that January 6th was indeed the biggest WTF moment of the year. So that event was definitely um, worthy of, of this award.